Why is my mom vacuuming downstairs when I'm filming? Good morning, guys. <laughs> it's my birthday today. I'm 19 years old. It's April 18th, 2020. Um, but this year I'm in quarantine. If you are watching this video in the future, you're probably really confused. There's currently a global pandemic going on. It's called the coronavirus. And I have a birthday party, but I can't meet anyone. So it's gonna be a Zoom birthday party. I'm gonna take you guys along my get ready process and hopefully have a less depressing birthday. Right now I'm about to get ready for a run. I literally just woke up. And let's get this thing started. <laughs> So I'm currently running, um, I'm four miles in. I have around two to go. <laughs> I'm so tired, but I'm going to see you guys at the finish line. I've been trying my best to train every single day. Um, I'm training for a short film. I need to get strong and my lungs need to be good. So it sounds like I'm an actor, but I'm not. It's just for this marketing campaign and I need to be strong. So. Alright guys, it's like 9.50 a.m. Here's the thing, okay? It's still morning and I ran, ate this large breakfast that literally was... Um, and I don't know what to do for the rest of the day. Um, and that's an issue because it's literally only 10 a.m. But I'm satisfied. My mom made me French toast. Um, I'm back home because I'm in quarantine, right? So she made me a nice breakfast. It was so yummy. And I literally am now in a food coma. Dad's probably going to at least plan something just because it's really depressing if this is all i do today <laughs> yeah so i'm literally just in bed i just i'm just dying to be honest i was like the run was so intense but we'll see what we do for the rest of the day i have a birthday party to get ready for so god i'm just so tired uh, what's the plan today dad what's the what? plan? what's the plan i don't like being on the camera my dad just came to my room and we decided to go to the beach but we're not gonna go down <laughs> we're basically gonna go to the beach and then eat at the beach in our car and then go around this is what you gotta do and i love the beach so i just want to go there just to see it okay so in that case i guess i'm gonna get ready with you guys uh because i have a birthday party tonight too so we can do our makeup go to the beach have a little party let's go okay this is the makeup we're gonna do Dua Lipa's wearing glitter eyeshadow with a wing liner, bold brows, and a glossy damn lip. All right, so I wanted to do a get ready to chat life update because there's just been a lot going on. So guys, uh, what the fuck is up? I just like put chapstick like literally in my teeth. What's been going on with you guys? Like literally comment below. I'm genuinely curious how you actually are doing. Personally right now, I made a list of questions I want to go over in this like chit chat. So as I'm getting ready to go absolutely nowhere, I'm going to just go with the first question I wrote down that I want to go over, which is what's something exciting that I'm working on? Um, and then you guys can comment below what you guys are working on so we can like, do this together. Right now, I just had a meeting yesterday with a casting producer for this really secret project. I can't really say what it is, but um, I have been obsessed with entertainment and education. Like, obviously you guys know my channel. I do a ton of marketing tutorials, but if you know anything about me, I could care less about just the boring webinar shit. Like, I love content that tells a story and that is meaningful. And I think that right now a lot of education is quite boring, to be very honest. And for an ADH little only child, you know, I, I can't stand it. So that's when I really wanted to work on projects that combine those two things you know how can you tell a story but also teach and i mean the best example is like if you know crash course um but long story short i've been trying to work on projects that like did that and yesterday i had a meeting with this casting producer for a streaming platform that's you guys probably know the name of it I'm talking about a potential show that i might do um and it, it's a dream like if, i don't know if i'm gonna get it i just you know was casted for i don't think i'm gonna get it it's just like definitely something that i'm excited about and i want to pursue maybe more um not that i want to be an actor but i do just want to learn more about producing content that's storytelling and, and entertaining um, which leads me to my second question um that i wrote down which is how has 18 been um what are some of your biggest roadblocks of the year let me just give you a quick backstory i'm 19 right now oh god i feel so old also i am not doing my makeup i'm just like literally <laughs> talking so let me just quickly do my brows so 18 has definitely been a really really one of my best years i would say let's see this time last year i was here oh, my brow pencil just broke <laughs> fuck are you 
kidding me? I literally broke the last nub of my brow pencil. Now I'm just gonna be browless. You know, the funny thing is I didn't really buy myself a birthday present or, you know, it's quarantine, so I should probably address the obvious, which is I am not having a party or seeing friends or, you know, traditional birthday, and I'm actually not mad at it. I definitely think that I'm so lucky to be healthy and my friends and family and close ones are, are happy and, and doing well, so I could really complain less. I think when you grow up more, not that I'm like more mature, but I definitely think I used to, like, you know, last year value that uh, materialistic stuff, having friends by me, but as long as I know I have two or three close friends that are, you know, physically here, but thinking of me and that we care about each other, I'm chilling. Um, and that's something that came definitely with time. And I definitely think I've matured a lot the past year. Like when I was, me last year was so much more, all I wanted to do was to make a million dollars to make a million dollars, you know? And I can definitely say that uh, I'm less of an asshole. Like I've learned to be more patient. Um, and overall, I actually had, when I had a breakup, I guess, um, not really like romantically, but my like my best friend, uh, me and him like kind of took time off and it was really, really hard for me because I hate breaking up with like friends um, and he's in my videos. So like probably Mike can guess who it is. Like we didn't talk for a few weeks, I think almost two months at one point, which is a lot because we were like best friends. Yeah, me and him are fine now, but Okay, so the next question I wrote down is how has quarantine been? Okay, so I've been in quarantine for probably three weeks right now. I came back from LA in March and ever since then <laughs> I was locked down here in Oregon. Um, so I am living with my parents right now. The projects I'm working on right now is my company X8 Media. I really just put everything else on the back burner. And if you guys are curious, I don't know if anyone gives a shit, but so Eat Like is one company I'm working on and I also have PBJ app with the software. And yeah, I mean, honestly, throughout quarantine, you can't really control everything when there's a global pandemic so i had to put those uh projects on the back burner um we're gonna revisit it back when lockdown gets lifted but yeah we couldn't sell products we just couldn't build the company during this time and it was definitely hard to shut down temporarily projects that you've been working your butt out of um, and that was definitely tough um, but other than that quarantine has honestly been great as you can see i've been running uh, working out, cooking more, also learning how to enjoy the little things. I think before it literally, this sounds really stuck up, but it would literally take me a big trip to Bali or Korea or France to be happy. Like that's the only thing that would like kind of mentally stimulate me, which sounds really like prestigious. I, I swear I don't come from a ton of money, but so me and my friend, um, Brennan, we went to Europe last year, uh, exactly a year ago, and that was super fun. But even then, like, I went home and I just, I wanted more. And I think being in quarantine literally taught me how to enjoy what you have right now. And that's a question I want to ask you guys. How has quarantine been for you? Are you able to enjoy the little things or are you complaining? Because there was definitely the first week where I was just mad that I couldn't surf or travel. Uh, but I'm actually so grateful that this opportunity of being at home in stillness has arrived because it allows me to actually be more thankful. So that's some words of wisdom of the day. Okay, my brows look like shit. I'm trying to emulate Dua Lipa. She has better brows than me by far genetically. <sighs> so we're just gonna make do. Okay, but that's really pretty. Why don't I wear eyeshadow more? Oh, all right, so eyeliner is on. I'm adding now my lashes. Jade! Hello! Happy birthday! Oh, thank you! How do you feel? I just ran six miles and I got ready. Bro, how? <laughs> wow, I can't wait for your party tonight. Oh my god, I guess he's coming. Who? <laughs> we have a special guest. Who? Uh, we're doing the very brave uh, thing of going to the beach. This is a, this is literally the farthest we can get. <laughs> I miss surfing so much. Why is there a global pandemic? If you were wondering, yes, we literally drove four hours to the beach to come back home. Um, just to get that view. Um, it's 4 p.m. I'm, my birthday party starts in an hour on Zoom. And I'm getting pizza for my party. Let's go pick up the pizza. Whoa, what the fuck's going on? Please ring the doorbell. Do I just... There you go. Have a good one. You have a wonderful night. Alright guys, I just came back from the beach. It's time to go to my birthday party. Got my party hat. Let's party. Happy birthday! <laughs> Alright. I'm super excited. Hey, I don't have a hat, but I have a hoodie. Okay. <laughs> Does anyone have a new? Happy birthday! 
wearing suit. Where's your party hat? Oh shit. Later I understood I was fine. I am glad. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. I'll go first. Okay, so one thing about Jade is she is just this like very strong, independent woman, and so I have never seen her show any expression of pain or just like <laughs> ever being vulnerable ever in her life. So we're in like, are we in South Korea? We're in South Korea, dude. There's like ice on the on the street and stuff. It's like low-key dangerous. And we're like just trying to walk in this cold environment, like trying to go get some coffee or something. And all I hear behind me is just this <laughs> smell of asphalt. And I'm like, and Jane is just on the floor completely just, she just stood up, she's like, okay, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> and started limping <laughs> and like didn't let anyone help her. And I was like, oh my gosh, Jade, you tank. I have two funny stories, but I'll start with the first one. We, this was like ninth grade and we took a trip to the beach. <laughs> um, and so like there was, we were like trying to take these really cute pictures on like a rock, like cliff thing. But there was a sign and like a rope and it was like, like, don't come on the cliff because it's like eroding right now. So naturally, Jade was like, let's go on the cliff. And so we like we went on the cliff and we were taking these photos and like jumping. And then this old lady came down and we thought she was like trying to like help us or something. But then she was like, I'm gonna take a photo of your license plate and call the police. Everyone ready? Ready. Yes. Okay. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. All right, guys. So I just got off my call. And I took off my makeup because it's time to get ready for bed. Although it wasn't ideal in a sense of I didn't get to see my friends and go outside, I was able to spend time with family and kind of go to the beach. And that's the most important thing to me. I had an amazing call with my friends. They just mean the world to me too. Um, to know that I can't see them makes me sad, but I know that this is the time to appreciate small things. And I hope you guys enjoyed this like birthday vlog. I'm just so thankful for you guys. Thank you to our nation for watching. I know it's only like 9 p.m., but I have to get ready for bed because tomorrow I have to be up at 5 a.m. for a meeting. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.